And how I got to know him more mm -hmm. was they, they would come out every summer. Mm -hmm. And it'd be a bunch of boys and girls, and they had their tents, and then they did their own thing, but they were still on the Didn't property. Did we sell water or something, bottled water one time? Oh, My we had... built a stand. Yeah, he built a uh, shanty. Yeah. We lived, our, tra our house was between the river and the railroad track. And it was three big... Which, which one? The one you lived in? You no, guys kids? The summer home. home. Oh, the summer home. I'm thinking, I don't remember the railroad track. No, summer home. And it was three long rooms. A kitchen. And the one room was the, of all beds. And then the middle room was where the heater was, a coal heater, and the pump. And the, um, pump. the pump. And then there were double beds, but double bunk beds at the one end, and that's where the women slept. The men slept all, because we'd have room for 40 people uh, at the cottage. Yeah, and then the, oh, excuse me. Oh, the next room was the kitchen, like, with a big walk-in refrigerator, and then a long benches. table with benches. And then it was all screened in. Well, so what did Grandma sell that then? Because I don't even remember. It burned. Oh, it yeah, burned. that's what it I was. Burned. That's what I started to ask you. Didn't that burn? It because burned right out. God around. showed me where it had been. Yeah. yeah. But I remember that that it had burned. And they and they leased the land, so the land went back to whoever owned. Yeah, yeah, to Fred Teed, the one <coughs> from Teedville, so, you know. But there was one hole, and then there was a so cook shanty. Where the, they had the big stove with the, you know, you had to fire it up. To, to keep from heating up the house, the house in the summertime. Was cooked outside. Yeah. Well, yeah. my mother was and dad were so good natured that they, but they people freeloaded. You know, they'd come on on Friday night and stay till Sunday. And not bring any food? No. 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 Never. Oh my gosh. Uh, but any kid that would say, can we go with you, you know. If you can fit in the truck, you can go. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were out there, so we didn't have, yeah, you know, he didn't have to bring us back and forth. Mm -hmm. Just so him and my mother had room, you know, to come out. And then Grandma had, we had breakfast, lunch, at 5 o'clock. Oh, yeah. We ate. And no snack and in between. So and you went to bed at 8 or 9 o'clock at night. Grandma when it got dark, right? Yeah. And then my dad built this shanty so we could change clothes to go swimming. We and swam in the river. We swam oh, in the display. It, was, it yeah. wasn't dirty, was it? No, it wasn't real dirty now, then. I mean, now you could Oh, go. yeah. Now but it was a Displains River. Yeah. And then, and then, then go ahead. we, um, it had, well, so did the house. It had shutters that you picked up and you hooked. You know, they had a thing to hook, yeah. so then this air would come in, and then when we were juicing, then they'd go down. Well, that's how he built the shanty, that it had like a counter, and they'd open, three sides would open, and then he decided we would sell pop, because on the other side was the picnic grove, but it was a lot of color that came. But then we bought, that's how I met Jim, we bought pop from his mom and dad, and on our way out, you know, because they had they sold pop and water. Yeah, I somehow remember that too. Because did you guys have trailers behind your house that had stuff in it? He, Grandpa did. Grandpa did. Bimini, the yeah. Bimini water. Grandpa Williams. Yeah. And then my dad would go. To I just remember cases of bottles. Yeah. For some reason. And Grand, um, my dad would go downtown someplace, maybe Maxwell Street. I don't know. <laughs> And buy boxes of candy yeah. bars, Babe Ruth, Butterfingers, and Milky Way, and all those candy bars. Then he'd bring those out, and then we'd sell the pop and the candy to these picnic people. And then when and the what would you turns, if you ate some, huh? I don't know. Well, well, well we were turns. never, we were never said we couldn't have, you know. Yeah. But I don't remember, you know, that we just took it to eat it. Yeah. Well, I remember put, my mother could take a Butterfing or a Babe Ruth and cut it in eight. Well, you know, the candy bars used to have a cardboard on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. We used to fold it in half if you wanted four pieces, 
you folded it in half and you folded it in half and you laid it and that's how you cut it, you know. With us kids. <laughs> so they were all the same size. <laughs> Did Santa oh, yeah. Claus bring your Christmas tree? No, well no, my dad my dad sold Christmas trees. Oh, so so he couldn't. always yeah. and one time he got this beautiful shaped tree, but it was so tall. But they did cut it off. First he thought maybe he cut a hole in the ceiling <laughs> and it would go up. But but, cut it but we always had a pretty tree. He but always one time had. it started to tip and dad uh, to the Yeah. Wired it to and the I can remember we, they went to the Gaelic show one time, my mother, this was after my dad died, I guess, and I was going to be good and I wanted to wash the, I think it was the ceiling, and so I didn't think they'd know it, if, so I left a corner dirty, so they knew that that's what <laughs> I did, but they were in the <laughs> show. Yeah, chores, I we had to. Go. Wipe. I used to love to wipe up floor before we went to school. We oh, used yeah. to iron your And then my mother, then they would wash the dishes, and somebody would call me to go play ball. Yeah. And I'd say, well, the di and then I said, well, I'll do the dishes when yeah, I come back. Well, Those dishes were there when I came back. Yeah, yeah. no <laughs> we did them. I remember we did them a couple of times, and then we said, no, that's an excuse. Let her do the dishes when she comes back. But my mother always said, if your dishes are done and your bed's, and your bed's made, your the house, house always looks good. straight. Mm -hmm. You know, I anybody know. could come in then if your bed was made and your dishes were done. My brother and I, uh, we always thought Santa Claus brought our Christmas tree because my mother and dad would, or my dad probably, went out uh, Christmas Eve when they were throwing them away and find a tree and then they would decorate it and they were up all night decorating the yeah. tree. A lot of people um, did and that. I, you know, Santa Claus brought the tree as well as yeah. the gifts, which yeah. were which were very small. And all then, ours too. <laughs> <laughs> With Diane was telling us that they were, there were five kids in their family and she said the one year her dad couldn't get a tree so he brought two and put them together. Uh huh. You know, wired them together. Yeah, yeah and the tinsel had to be put on oh, one piece wow. at a time. Oh, time. You didn't really? stand there. Yeah, that's how we did it. Ask <laughs> Jack <laughs> <of> the tinsel. <coughs> oh, oh I know how my mother we was. had to put it across mm. the a sofa like this yeah. and take one yeah. at a time. And then, you and took then it after off Christmas, that way, you had to take it off yeah, yeah. and, and, put save, it in it. and save it for and next year. It up for the next year. I mean, we did that. Yeah, we did that but, too. Yeah. Um, but uh, Santa Claus always brought that tree because it wasn't there when I went to bed Christmas Eve. Christmas yeah. morning, there it was. And I know one time uh, I got the skates so one year, and I love to skate. I used to. We'd go to Sunday school. You know, we had to go roller to Sunday skater, school. Ice skate. Ice skate. No, I, I did both. Skate, yeah. I did both, but ice skating was. Well, my Loretta went downtown to Boston to try that, and she got the little skirt, the heavy quilted skirt, and the little jacket, and I got that for Christmas. Uh, oh, I was really well, I never classy had that, then. But, but but that's all you got was one. Yeah, thing. Do you I remember, remember corduroy oh, pants. Yeah. Uh -huh. We had. The red had blue ones and I had green or vice versa. And when they get wet, you'd have to hang them up. But I had a pretty, I got it for my girlfriend, a pretty white hat and a scarf. And I was going to buy me. And I okay. thought, oh, I, I have to wash them now. So I washed them, I dried them in the oven. Oh, <laughs> I guess what happened? Shrunk. They all went together, Lily wool. Yeah. And they shrunk. Yeah. And then one time I had a date, and we had, you know, you only could during the war, you only could get one pair of nylons. I got my first nylons when I was married. Well, I had. And I World went War Two, that over. stuff was yeah. rationed. Mm -hmm. I went all. I don't think they had nylons before that. I well, think I they had used nylons kept, because when I. But that was, was after the war. That was after we were. Well, I wasn't married because I put them over the burner to dry. They were so oh. I wasn't too smart. They just <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. 
But I know I had to call one of the stores and order it. And the day before the wedding, they called and said the nylons were in. And then I wore nylons, which was stupid because I borrowed my wedding dress from Jane's girlfriend, Laverne. And, and it was too big, but you didn't take it in, you, you wore it, you know. So my wedding dress was really big. And, but then it had the netting on the bottom and that all got caught on the nylon, so the nylons were all uh, almost snagged. ruined yeah, from the uh, yeah. net on the dress. When, when I, um, we, we, we lived in an apartment building on the second floor, and there was uh, across Elston Avenue a uh, park, and uh, that was where they did some of the craft work, but I did that before. But my mother, was during the war, and I wanted a pair of ice skates so I could ice skate over at the park. And so she got me the ice skates, but the only ones she could find were two sizes. I don't mean half sizes, two whole sizes, too big for me. But, and in there I skated. Oh, um, you, you try to keep them on. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, skate. at least I could get yeah. on the ice, you know, yeah. but I skated on the side of my ankles because that they, they were they too big. Yeah, you know, I mean, I laced them as tight as I could lace them, but that they were just too big. And swimming suits, when we go to the pool, we, you know, you had to wear somebody else's swimming suit. Well, I didn't care. I wanted to wear, I wanted to go in the water. Well, I, I didn't care. It was so big one time, it was supposed to go this way, and her is tied way up here. <laughs> and we had it, we pulled it way back here to get it that it was up enough and tied a string, yeah. you know, to, just so you could. But you jumped off the high dive in Willow Springs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I used to. I used to love to do that. I jumped in in Frankfurt yeah. and went down to the bottom. Yeah. And I worked so hard to get up, <laughs> I lost. I couldn't get my breath. And Jimmy and Bud came yeah. and helped me because I couldn't get my breath. And working so hard to get yeah. up to the top. <laughs> I probably didn't do that again. I did do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that too. I uh, jumped off. I never dove. I always jumped. I couldn't make myself dive. Oh, I, I would dive later. I dived on the, on the lower boards, yeah. but not on the... Well, we stayed at the trailers. And I don't know, it was at your house. And uh, the, the cats... Anna had a cat laying in bed with her or something. She You're talking about the trailer Grandma had out there, that turquoise one? Yeah, we, it was a trailer yeah, uh -huh. out there. Yeah, we had, yeah, in the backyard. Yeah. Out and at Avery. You kids. No, not at Avery. No, yeah, no, Grandma had a trailer, trailer out there at Avery. The back, yeah. Oh, I guess so. I've <coughs> forgotten about we that. We ended up pulling it up to Buffalo. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It was, yeah, a, it was a turquoise. Didn't a, they didn't have a place to live yet. Who? And they lived in the trailer. Is that what my mother and dad? No, I don't know why oh, we ended up in that trailer. It was always empty because we always went out and played in it. And sometimes we we slept in it. We slept in it. Well, it was truck wasn't it? it? I think it was. Yeah, because it was. And but we. Slept <clears> I remember polishing it. That's why I know because oh. we had to polish it. Well, yeah, but I was wondering if we. I think we bought it for my mother, but then she wouldn't move out there. Yeah. I, yeah, because it was always vacant. She, she, I think she was crying because she said, I don't want to live out here. I, where she had Gail's bedroom, and of course Scott was a, was a new baby, and uh, so they took up Gail, what was Gail's room, you know, and uh, so I forget where Gail slept after that. I think probably on the couch. Yeah, I think you had that trailer up there for a couple of years anyway. Yeah. Well, it was because she paid for it. Yeah. It was because of hers, because she stayed with us before Scott was born. And, uh, but she could still, she still got her uh, telephone company some kind of uh, income Well, they had that. a good pension. Oh, yeah, yeah. She hadn't and retired then got yet. A, com a telephone. See, that's why we wound up with Scott, because uh, she, there was nobody in Chicago, and she wanted to go back so she could get her pension. pension. And she was a pioneer telephone operator, and she made very, very good money. And so that's why Scott stayed with us and didn't go with, well, you know, she wouldn't have had anybody in, in the city to watch him. 
and you know he was always mad because we you know we they didn't take him well he don't know what he missed I mean it, it would have been awful Probably because my father been, was drunk all the time. My mother was bipolar. An orphanage mm -hmm. or something. You know. Yeah, God only knows, you know, you know. But he thinks that, you know, I I shouldn't have kept him. If, you know, he was mistreated. Let's move on with something else. Yeah. yeah. But going to the uh, going back to the trailer. So M hollers. There's a cat in my bed. So <laughs> they said put it out. So we put it out. And a little while after, I said, oh, there's a cat by me. So we put it up near the door. You guys were letting them in, and we were throwing them out. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't realize that for a while. <laughs> and then one time at your house, uh, the kids brought a turtle in. And I said, oh, my God, if that thing gets loose. Well, it got loose. Well, I wasn't going to go to bed. Till they found that turtle. Well, we couldn't find the turtle. Remember, between your bedrooms, you had like a towels and that. Yeah. That's where the turtle was. Oh. It was only maybe that big. But was I, it? A, was it on my house on the river? No, no. It was your house on the uh, thing. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And then when Mavis' kids brought those two carp in the wheelbarrow. Are you with them now? And <laughs> they put them in the tub. And they put them in the bathroom. And they splashed all over me, but she was having a fit. Because, you know, they were splashing all over the wall. And they were big, weren't they? Oh, yeah. They were in a, in a wheelbarrow. Yeah. All those kids. And then we were in their pool one time, and they'd say, Mike, out the pool. Uh, Steve, out the pool. So then we'd have to go, and I took them to the show one time, and they brought their own pop, and you could hear the opening, you know, they were bottles then. So all of a sudden we hear uh, Dirks get out the show, and Steve get up. I said, I never went to a place where Steve and Mike weren't thrown out. <laughs> they were big kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. you yeah. know. They were bigger yeah. than you. Oh, I know. They were big. Yes. Oh, they were big when they were little. Yeah. They were big. Yeah. You should see my house now there in Avery, the one Bud built, and our friends. Uh, they, the people that own it now, cut down all the trees, uh, all the bushes. There was landscaping along the yeah. side. Cut everything down, and it's all there, and it, it just looks awful. The, the little house, our rental, looked good, but uh, I, I, I took uh, my friend Pete there to show him my, my old house, because he, <coughs> he was Bud's best friend on the river. Uh -huh. and, uh, well, he was the Greek. The Greek. Yeah, Greek, yeah, Pete the Greek, uh -huh. and we were going with Lynette and Jeff to uh, um, kind of like an outdoor theater, oh. uh, a theater production. And uh, so we went out there, and I said, "Oh, I'm not going out here no more ever. I don't. I can't stand to see this yeah. because, yeah, I thought that house was really, really nice." And uh, you should see ours in Chicago. They've got all those iron fences in front. The mailman can't even get in without. He won't bring anything up the steps because it's all. You know, they can't come out the gangway. Well, they was, the kids from the school were always coming over. Yeah, and but the whole block and sitting on the porch. They were sitting on the porch on those cement, you know, seats. Yeah, and I, and I suppose they don't them. want them bothering them, you know. But we wanted to go back and see our old neighbor, and we had to stand out in front and holler, Adeline! You're talking about the house that was across from the school? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they, got, they got all that? All that. Well, this black marks so dark. <coughs> the house we lived in to black people. Mm. But they're very, very nice. But the school has uh, those portable schools, like oh, trailers yeah. now, yeah. in the yard. in the, So they must have a lot of kids over there. You know. Mm. But we went to, uh, we went to Shield School and we went to Kelly High School. 
I think we all did, you know. Yeah. Well, Bud, we had to buy him a bike. Remember when we pitched in for a to bike so he them. would graduate? Why was that? Uh, what, dad, yeah, what's the cool. bike got to do with him graduating? He, he wanted didn't, a bike. He wanted to put high he school. Didn't to, oh. He didn't want he to go on a school. bike. And we said so we'd buy him a bike if, if he, he graduated. graduated. I think oh. one time, didn't he run away? <coughs> He ran out. He went out to Teesville and stayed with Grandma Tees. Do you remember that? Yeah, he stayed with Grandma Tees, and then she called my mother and said that Buddy was out there. Well, how the heck did he get from bus? Jim came from Willow Springs on bus because he didn't drive, and he came in the city. And he had to leave by a certain time because that was the last bus. Mm -hmm. So he had to make sure he got home. But otherwise he'd have to walk, and that's a long walk. So that's how you guys end up at Willow Springs because you... Well, he lived what, out there. Oh, well, I thought he, he came out there too. Did you say he drove out there? He came out to see me, but he'd come in on bus. But he lived in he, Willow Springs. Oh, okay. I think he was four. So where you guys actually lived is beside his parents? That's yeah. why the trailers were there back here? We were right next to the trailers. They lived yeah. off of Wolf Road. We we bought the land right on Wolf Road then. They gave us the house and then we moved it to the road. You know, we bought that property. And then we built the living room and the front bedroom, the breezeway, the, breeze the garage. Because yeah. it was only it was two bedrooms and a real little, one bedroom was real little, one bedroom. Our bedroom was the dining room. And then the living room was my dining room. And the kitchen was just half that size and there was a utility room. But when we were little, we left, we had to cut hot dogs in half. Do you remember that? Oh, one? yeah. And on two pieces of bread. And we survived. Mm -hmm. We had bread pudding for dinner. Mama made bread pudding. That's all we had. That was our dinner. And I can remember mashed potatoes. And I don't know why I don't make them for myself now. Mashed potatoes and fried eggs. And that would be our supper. And I never think I'll have fried potatoes and eggs, but never. And we used to like it. Fried potatoes. We had duck. Uh, my dad, that one time he worked so hard, Mom bought him the steak. And uh, he came home and he said, well, what did all of you eat? And I don't know what we ate. Was it, you know, eggs or something? He said, no, no, no way. And he cut that steak up, you know, and ate for eight of the us. He said, if, if I get steak, they get steak. And he always said, I brought, uh, I don't want no help. I brought the kids in the world, and I'm going to take care of them. But I can see my dad, a bud in my dad. Oh, yeah. In actions and everything, you know. And if we had, you know, if we wanted an ice cream cone, they were three cents for an ice cream cone. And if there were four other kids there if we didn't have enough money to buy it. Everybody ice cream, then we didn't get it either, yeah. you know. And it wasn't that he bought it for us right. and they watched us. Well, know. I don't know how your dad got, how Bud got so sick with marshmallows. Was it those cookies? It was a chocolate marshmallow cookie. Mm -hmm. He said, I think he got them at Chelsea and Birch. Remember, we used to get that big high box of those marshmallows? Yeah. Well, Bud ate and ate and ate, and I think he erped and erped and erped. <laughs> but you couldn't show him a marshmallow. He didn't okay, want a could marshmallow. Could you, Betty? Oh no, no, oh, no, I he brought touch a marshmallow. He's out when he'd come to our house. No, no, no. He <laughs> <laughs> I worked as Shulzy and Birch as a <coughs> secretary. And um, my cousin Betty and I worked together. Mm -hmm. And we went together. We did everything together. But they used to make, I think they still make, a little cookie with a wafer and chocolate on top and mint in the middle or peanut butter. And I used to just 
love those movies. Yeah, you are. Well, she could get a, you know, cheap Cheaper. by the box on a certain day. Yes. And then one day I walked to the factory just to see what was going on back there. And I saw this big colored guy making these ch chocolate and mint cookies. <coughs> and I couldn't even imagine that. I don't know why he was the nicest guy, you know. Uh -huh. But it just made it. I buy them every so often. I see them at the store. <laughs> and Kyla and I worked together in the dime store. I worked at Cosme. Well, we're, I first worked at Candy and then Cosmetics. And you worked at the Ribbons. Yeah. And that. I was only 15. I got the job right after Dad died. You got 12 cents an hour. Yeah. And we worked 48 hours. 48? Well, we had to work on Saturdays. I worked yeah. after school and on Saturday. She was special. After I, then when I got older, I went to Chelsea and Bert. And when I got paid, and Saturday, if it was, well, Bill had picked me up, or Willard Milso, and one time they were both there. <laughs> so I walked home with both of them and told them to come in. But what I have to tell, laugh about, our couch at one spot where the spring was, do you remember that? No. And we used to come home early on our date, because Loretta was married, yeah, and she lived there. You were dating and I was dating. Let's see who could get to the couch without the spring. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we got a lot of good memories, though. I remember Dad one time, he made potato chips. And we ate those things, so we got sick. I never could eat a potato chip for about 20 years after that. <laughs> I mean, that long, because they were even brown. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's repulsive. Remember that on yeah. Morrison Street? Even. See, it was Jack's potato chips before it was Jay's. And then during the war, they had to change the name because the couple that started that lived by uh, Mabel Peterson. You know, the couple that started Jack's potato chips. But then when the war came, like they couldn't have Japs, so they changed it to Jay's. Yeah. But they were rich people. Mm -hmm. When Jimmy and Jerry were small, we went, uh, well, Grandpa had all these customers. And this one guy had a place in Fox Lake. And Grandpa's car wouldn't make it to Fox Lake, you know. So he said, that's all right, I'll send the car out, and you bring your son and daughter-in-law and the two children. Well, we went to Fox Lake to this beautiful house that had all white carpeting and just, oh, and I thought, oh my God, with two boys, you know. Mm -hmm. But the boys were good, they, you know, and we watched what they did. But this couple came over and it was the guy that started McDonald's. He came over, he was his friendly, he loved the boys, mm -hmm. he was his friendly. Well, I don't remember what his name is, Croc? Yeah. Is it Croc? Oh, he just yeah. died. Yeah. He just yeah. died. And we met him and his wife, and they were so good to the boys. They just thought the boys were so cute. Well, they were two years apart, you know, so they were uh, little. And uh, But it was real interesting. You know, I didn't realize it took me a long time after McDonald's started that we met that guy. But he was just a friendly old, he wasn't, I don't know what he was now, because we never went back there. Well, that's but where uh, that, uh, what was the weatherman and that on um, Howard, WGN for years. Howard Miller? He lived in that. Fox Lake along there. there was oh, one the, oh Ridge. there's another one. Um, Wally Phillips. Wally Phillips. Yeah, because little Jerry went to a place out there with the boyfriend, his grandma owned it. And, but they said Wally Phillips was the crabbiest man mm -hmm. at the cottage. He was just so crabby, and I almost thought I used to like to listen to him, you know. Mm -hmm. but and you we went know. on, but can you believe this? Jimmy had a car. We no, didn't drive. We didn't have a car. And we all went to this Hayward, Hayward, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Hayward, Wisconsin. Hayward, Wisconsin. Hayward, 
Marissa. Marissa. Something.